So opening day is just around the corner, and fans all around the country are gearing up to watch guys like Miguel Cabrera and Prince Fielder hit it out of the park. So it got us thinking, what makes the perfect swing in baseball? What we want is exquisite control at the very fastest speeds. And that's really, really tough to do. So what are the specifics that your technology is measuring? The entire three-dimensional motion of the bat as you're swinging. So is this the device right here on the end of the bat? Yeah, it is. It is. So this is a device that's actually cased in this little box, and it's a wireless sensor that transmits the data that tells you how the bat is moving. So this is an example of the technology we developed in our lab. It has a name. It's called a wireless inertial measurement unit. What it has on it are sensors that measure the acceleration of a point and then also the rotation rate of this board. We are rotating that bat at tremendous speeds mm -hmm. as we're doing the swing. Right. It turns out that it's measuring six quantities. It measures three components of the acceleration, like X, Y, and Z components, and three rotation rates, like X, Y, and Z components of rotation rate. Okay. Those six pieces of data are then sent to our computer by a little tiny wireless transceiver that's on the back side of this board. The fun thing for us as engineers is being able to take this data and convert it to, to very, very useful forms. So let me show you a quick example of that. Sure. This is the start of the swing, approaching impact. That's impact in red. The rest is follow through. So how do coaches then use that information to help their players get better? would be tremendous. So if a coach is wondering, um, how come my player doesn't develop bat speed? There are things that we can look at from the data that could pinpoint the underlying problem. Here's another view that shows what it would look like if you were standing in the opposite batter's box. In this case, it only takes two tenths of a second to get from the set position down to ball impact. The images down here where it's black, we call that the hitting zone, and that's 10 milliseconds before impact to 10 milliseconds after impact. The bat is also half-toned, and that allows us to see how the bat is rolling, um, particularly during the follow-through. Okay. There's a lot of information right. you can glean from here. In this particular instance, we measured that there was actually a little bit of an uppercut of about five and a half degrees, mm -hmm. and if that velocity vector is tipped above horizontal, that indicates an uppercut. If it's horizontal, it's a level swing. Below horizontal, that's a chop. And we can literally measure that angle, something that you would not be able to see with the naked eye. So again, reaction time, speed, and control. Right. If you line those things up, you're a great hitter. This is a technology that allows you to measure those things very precisely, right on the field of play, and to get that information almost instantly to the player or to the coach. What exactly would it take to get human beings to Mars? So first of all, getting the rocket from here to there. What are the yeah. challenges associated with that?